Okay, let's look at a guitar string. Actually, this isn't a guitar string. This is a mandolin string. And it came off of a really old 1920s mandolin. I have no idea how long the string has been on there. But let's check it out. Look at all the look at all the stuff on there. Now, this much gunk on an old string can very easily cause it uh, to go to stay out of tune. You just will not be able to tune this string because no matter where you pluck it or no matter where you fret it, you're going to have inconsistencies in the amount of mass. From one fret to the next, so it's it's your intonation will never be a, be right. One thing I don't like is the way that this stupid thing is it's light. Okay. We can also, this is really hard for me to see on this tiny monitor, that's the only problem. There we go. This is a string that came off of a mandolin that was made in the 1920s. I don't know how old this string is, but there's a good possibility this string is as old as the mandolin. At the, at the very least, this string is very old itself. And you can tell it. But you can see all the gunk down in, in between the windings. And you can kind of see why cleaning strings is a good idea as well. And what is that?
you just look at the state of that. It's just awful. And you can see where one side was facing up and the other side was facing the fretboard. Because it has less gunk in between the strings. See where the gunk begins? And you can see where the, the fingers have worn off. Have kind of polished the, the tops there on the one side. That's just absolutely fascinating. But what polishing was done was done long ago because of just the color. You can tell by the color the string has not been played in a long time. Here we get to the, look at the end.